Hi everybody, so welcome to um, probably part one of my Hobonichi unboxings for this year. Um, I have a second order in my cart and I'm just trying to make some decisions about that. So um, but I thought I'd share what I've got so far. This is a group order, um, so a lot of these items are going to be given to a friend, so I can't open them for the packaging, um, including this Sean Tan cover on cover. But I'm going to show you as much as I can through the packaging. So this one again is for a friend, so I won't be able to open this one out of the packaging, but um, I'm hoping you can get a good idea of the colour. I've tried to make the um, the colour of this video true to life, because um, I know sometimes it's quite hard to tell what colours things are. If you've got any questions about what any of these items are, um, just put it down below and I'll do my best to answer. Now at this point I realised that I'd accidentally ordered two, <laughs> two of the Sean Tan Weeks covers. Um, so I'm not sure, quite sure what I'm going to do the other one, but um, I should check my order and apparently I did order it. That's the item I added on later on, so I don't know whether I added it twice, I'm not sure. but uh, and then these are mine, so I'm going to open these later and I can show you a bit more in detail. Um, the Swallows Weeks and the Camp Weeks. That's actually the pencil board from last year, because I didn't... I'm not overly fond of the colour from this year, it's quite bright. I prefer the plain colours. Now this one is for my friends, I'm afraid I can't open it, but um, I'm just trying to show you as much as I can the pictures up close. This is the Doraemon pencil board for the A6. These are the freebie pens um, you get with every book, and I actually got one less. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but um, and maybe there's a cat. Maybe you can't have more than six pens in a box. I've no idea. It doesn't matter too much. I don't need that many anyway. And then those are the brush pens, which is the, um, the sort of the bonus gift this year. And this one is the A5 Five Year Tetra. So these items are the ones that are mine, um, obviously there's a couple of other pens, but this is everything so far that I have that I can show you in detail. So starting with the possibly the least interesting one, that's just the insert. Um, I was going to get the English planner, but then I decided at the last minute to get the Japanese version because I quite like, I like the layout of the page a bit more, it's a bit more functional. So the Hobonichi pen is navy this year with a black grip. I'm just trying to focus it so you can see. It's got a bit more design on it this year. And then this is the brush pen, the Fude pen, which has handwrite Hobonichi Dejo. Um, I didn't actually try this for you, um, but I'm just showing you what the nib looks like. So I'm sure you'll see these in lots of other videos anyway at some point as they appear. Um, the little leaflet this year is really lovely. I love these illustrations. Very nice. So cute. So I'm very glad I've got three of them to use. And this year, there's lots and lots and lots of detail on there, um, on both sides. One side is basically lots of information about how to use the tetras and um, sort of like a little bit of information about the history and all the different formats and stuff which is really useful and really nice to have I think. I will focus in a minute, don't worry. So yeah you can see and it's all 
bilingual, it's all Japanese and English, which is really, really good. And then the other side is 40, what does it say, 40 usage examples from the Hobonichi team. So 40 ideas of how to use it. And this is really good because it's um, in English as well. Because a lot of, in the, in the magazines, the interviews about how people use their techos are usually, well, they are always in Japanese. So it's really nice to have um, a little bit of English on here, which is really good. So, yeah. Now I got the, um, oh, let me just show you this one. This is, um, hang on, I'm getting in focus. <laughs> Kakizome. It's basically, um, oh, it says in it, small hanshi baby. When you're writing, um, or giving somebody a gift or a letter, um, usually a gift, I think, you write on these pieces of paper in Japan, vertically, top to bottom. So the Swallow Weeks, um, I got my little daisy right under the number one, which is quite interesting. Um, and another on the back as well. I'm trying to get as close as I can to give you texture shots because I'm trying to show you something that you don't see on the, um, the websites. So you can see the texture there. I had a bit, little bit of a mark on the back of mine where the leaflet pressed onto it. It doesn't matter. I don't mind. So that's the swallow weeks. And then the camp weeks. I wasn't going to get this. I was, and then I wasn't, and then I was, and then I wasn't. And then at the last minute, I thought I have to because it's just so cute. Um, so the special icon on here is the mushrooms under the tree. So I got one on the front there. And another on the back. They feel really nice. I love these bow and tie covers. They're very um, soft and smooth. Very nice tactile covers. And I got a pencil board, as I said, from the last year release. And then the last thing I have is the five-year A5. So I've never had a five-year before, so this will be my first year. Um, so you get a leaflet with it, like a little bit like guide about how to use it. So that one is all in Japanese, that one. And then you get given a sort of a test sheet, which I think is quite interesting, um, with a layout so you can sort of try out different ideas for your layouts because you could photocopy that and then you could have different tries couldn't you um so the cover's brown sort of a, a dark brown with the gold lettering and it's not as heavy as I thought I was thinking it was going to be like a lead weight but it's actually not I mean it's heavy I wouldn't want to carry it around but it's not crazy heavy so that's that's good and that's it for now I have got some other books as I said, in my cart. And I might be back for another unboxing. Bye-bye. <laughs>